Right. How do? Well, we're off. <coughs> or I'm off. There's only me, Parker Paul. We're off to a retirement presentation at uh, one of the uh, medical centres that uh, I used to deliver to, called Acorn in uh, Accrington. And it's Keith, Keith Retirement do. Anyway, firstly, hope you're all well. And uh, as you can see, we've uh, got some uh, some very nice weather for uh, mid-December. It's uh, today's the um, 14th of December. <coughs> Excuse me. 2016 and it's a lovely day it's 9 degrees or 48 degrees Fahrenheit and it's a bit breezy but you know it's not bad not bad at all I won't uh, I won't normally be taking um, Phoenix out, however, I've just got uh, sat on her in the garage to uh, bring her out and I could hardly move her. And that's because of the um, the brakes were stuck on. I mean, I washed, I washed the, the salt off best I, could, best I could last time and uh, We call water <coughs> and then give her a, a soaky bath. I can feel the brakes are binding on. That's a bloody problem with salt, you see, it gets everywhere. As I say many times, there's no bloody need for it most of the time. But the roads and your vehicles. Because they don't care a damn. They don't care a damn. Bloody hell, it's like I've got my brakes on. It's awful. Right, I shall be back in a minute. Right. That's uh, 20 litres at £23.60 for any of those... Uh, interested in the price of unleaded here one pound fourteen point nine a litre or 114 uh, pence per litre see how this brake is that brake disc was red hot I've just pulled my brake lever uh, quite hard so hopefully that will have uh, opened the piston up. Feels better. Right, let's get off. Quarter past 11, it uh, apparently starts at uh, 11.30 and uh, they're giving a, a presentation speech at uh, 12 o'clock. Now Keith, um, he, uh, I used to see him when I used to deliver to this uh, medical centre and um, Now then, what was that? Yeah, I used to see him at this medical centre most mornings. And um, he, uh, 
grand fella. And I used to, we used to watch a, a YouTube comedy clip, you know, something like Laura and Hardy or um, Only Fools and Horses, some classic comedy, uh, just for five minutes. And uh, both of us would uh, leave each other laughing. Well, as far as I'm concerned, if you did that with your colleagues, then you've, you've done, you, you know, you've both had a good day because uh, laughter is a cure for all illness. Do you agree? I certainly think so anyway. Make your, own, make your mind up, mate, which layer you're in. Now they're on the M65. Yeah, that brake feels better, I hope it's... Uh, God, that brake dish was red hot when I touched it, the uh, near side front. By golly. Roads a bit, still a bit wet. It doesn't really dry out this time of year, because even after a lot of rain, there's still salt there. Now this is uh, this is a ride that uh, I'd like to take the opportunity. Uh, just in case the weather turns really, really bad, which, it, you know, it could do, and we don't get out, is uh, I'd like to wish all of my subscribers, all of you, a very, very Merry Christmas and a very prosperous and happy, healthy New Year. And let's, uh, let's make 2017 even better biking wise than 2016 just a bit concerned about that disc I don't know whether it's the wind holding me back or whether it's the braking, I don't know. I'll soon find out. So we're gonna, Lynn and me are gonna have a nice quiet uh, Christmas. Christmas day is uh, our day. Um, And uh, Boxing Day we have Lynn's parents uh, round the towers for a meal. Prawn cocktail and uh, usually Lynn makes uh, a quiche. Two versions of quiche. Um, one with um, the usual uh, <coughs> cheese and, and the other one especially for me because I don't like cheese and that contains uh, tuna and sweet corn and it's delicious but prawn cocktail to start and usually Lynn makes a lovely big trifle sherry trifle for Christmas and um, so that'll be for pudding of course, all washed down by a little bit of uh, wine, not too much, so as to spoil it. We don't want too much. Um, 
because on the Monday, sorry, the um, Tuesday to 27th, we're, uh, we're going to um, Uh, I'll be picking up um, Samantha and Ebony and Layla all being well and they're staying with us for uh, Boxing Day so they'll be having a meal they'll be having a meal and uh, yeah this is bad this because this lane is actually for the M65, but I think back there it doesn't say that. So... Oh, hang on, it does. I don't know though, it's... Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, so that's uh, that's what we're doing, and then I'm taking them back. They live uh, 30 miles from uh, from where we live, so so obviously I'll uh, I'll have to stay sober and just have uh, some uh, non-alcoholic uh, drinks. Like slur, that's a very popular um, drink at, uh, at celebration times, like Christmas or um, any time really. But it's quite tasty. I can't remember what uh, flavour we usually have, but it's like a it's like a, a black currant flavour uh, colour. So it's very nice. Don't have a lot of alcohol, uh, just like Lynn and me generally have a, a, a bottle of wine between us on Saturday nights uh, with some uh, some nice television. Sweat the come dancing, for instance. Because um, I mean, you know, we're a week. I'm working. I'm dri I'm driving like during the day. Uh, I'm up early. So you, you just can't risk it. It's not it's not worth it, and it and it takes away the um, the enjoyment of it to me anyway. If you have too much of it, the whole idea of drinking is uh, is a social thing, isn't it? Not a habit. We're on Blackburn Road now in Accrington. Phoenix Place, there you are, that's where Phoenix. <laughs> when we named uh, the FJR, when we were buying it in uh, April, uh, I think it must have been one, the day that we collected her. And uh, it was Linda that saw it. She said, look at that. She said, it's fate. <laughs> Phoenix Place. And uh, this is the uh, the dealership where we got Phoenix from, Keith Dixon. So, you know, it must be fate.
Right, this is Acorn. What's going on here? Uh, the door's open, so he's not moving, is he? Right, so we're here, air going.